Oh, Ms. Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kerso. You look lo lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my, my best. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please. Call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because Join the dots, Elsa. Call me to your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for to apologize, you were right about a lesion fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for RK, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Mind else, so I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot, lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mister Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. You, you Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the, the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. A wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My, my head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your, your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over for a drink. Then they buy you dinner. Then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a face. Favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get 
150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. So it's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The, the property developer? You think I fell down, down the stairs? for the patch up princess might be the only r and r i get for some time me Jack it's good to see you you've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment can we do this some other time back off Curtis move away from the door Jack 
Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we We've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. I knew you were in bed with the Legion, Curtis. Now, now I know why. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? Get all of the stockholders. I need to follow the paper trail. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. How old are you, princess? Sixteen. Mister? How old are you really? Nearly 13. You take love where you can find it as you get old. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very, very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. What do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get 
dress. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. He buys me nice things. Get dressed. You're leaving. will only come back. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not not a violent man. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? Notice that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will be, become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city in the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, that Jack. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. Lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do they approve that, Jack? Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to a Attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lickman as the benefit.
beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choices of building materials? Give me what I need, or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may, may be many things things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all.